Hello everybody, Toe here and welcome to another episode of our Battle Brothers campaign where we're playing our mercenary company, the Golden Men. Where we last left off, we did several missions down in the south again. You know, same old, same old, it's been that way for the last couple episodes. Uh, except for this one, we did have a fairly large encounter with some Ifrits, if I remember uh, correctly. It was a pretty big fight, a little bit uh, a little bit risky. We almost had some uh, some near deaths, but we fortunately came out on top. Uh, the last uh, quest that we had before we ended the episode was we went up and hunted down some serpents and, well, to be frank, that battle went easy enough. Uh, the main plan for this one was that we're going to, uh, if I remember right, we're going to, yep, we're going to head over here to Wormwalked, or Hotch, something like that, uh, before heading up north. I think it's about time we finally start heading up here, maybe fighting some orcs, some basic raiders, you know. The usual, maybe some barbarians even, who knows, maybe we'll end up really far north. Uh, but that's the game plan at least, we've been down here for quite a while. I feel like it's about time to go face off against some different types of enemies. Uh, unfortunately I'm running low on tools, but I mean we've got some cash. Uh, we'll probably try and buy some here soon. Now I don't... Yeah, just some nomads. They're outlaws, but six against my ten, yeah, they're not really a threat. It's going to take a little bit of a larger party to really pose any any kind of danger to us. Unfortunately, it seems like I've got all my stuff fixed. I've got a few tools left. Oh. Alright, what am I fighting? It's six, so whatever I'm fighting, they're outnumbered. Fighting six orcs? Okay, now I could try and just let the uh, the AI deal with this, but the problem with that is that if I do uh, and any of them die, there's a chance that I'll have my pay reduced, and I'd rather not take that. Uh, I got a 50, only a 50% chance. Ah. Uh, again? See, that was completely worth it. Nobody was injured whatsoever. It was all fine. Okay, just an orc young. I'm not... Okay, there is a warrior. Good to know. At least one. There might actually be more than that, though. Good question. Young. Oh. I swear my game's been lagging. The uh, last episode especially. Went up to fight those Ifrits, man. And it was jumping all over the place. Another warrior. Okay. Alright, so... This is going to get interesting. Alright, where are you gonna go? Yeah, he's gonna go up against me. You ready to square up? Uh... It's not gonna be the most favorable, but... While I'm fairly confident of taking on the Orc Warrior by myself, it's best not to take a risk, and... Honestly, I can just swap out uh, with one of these guys if I have to. I'm not the most scared of the uh, the young over there, so. All right, yeah, yeah, we'll take the risk. All right, let's start trying to overwhelm. Them. It's two overwhelms. Huh. Not any real substantial damage, unfortunately. Um, let's just see if I can kill this orc. Uh, no dice. Alright. Just keep piling on the damage. Alright. So that's gonna be a minus 50. Uh, uh, that's... That's not gonna happen. I don't... Yeah, they're, they're gonna get up there before... Well, actually, no. Next turn, I'll be able to hop up there with him. Alright. Alright. We're going to start making our way over here to assist with these guys. It's a couple whiffs. Alright, just stall him. We'll hop up here and shield wall. I'm just trying to keep uh, this guy from trying to kill a uh, tick over there. I need to see what he does. Good. Just buy me time. I don't need you to win that fight. I have more experienced gladiators for that. Uh -oh. 
All right, well, this fight has become slightly more rushed. Um, that warrior, if he kills that conscript, might... Oh, that's not good. Might cause my pay to get docked. Let's see if we can stun this guy. Good, all right. Well. Uh, you're not going to live long enough to make uh, the most of that, my friend. All righty. Yep, and he's running. Uh, no. Well, I could swap with him, but I know he's just going to run right back into melee. So, I think my best bet is to try and kill this guy as quickly as possible. Let's go up here and see if we can kill this guy. 74. Can't even hit that guy. I can, in fact, shoot this one from point blank. Might as well, right? It's okay. It's just a conscript. Let's see if we can decapitate him. Uh, come on. Yes. They're wearing pretty heavy armor, which is unfortunate. Uh, at least this guy's not. If I can get them to route, that would be ideal. Unfortunately, he's bleeding. That should only last for one more turn, though. Oh. I'm sure you'll survive, Conscript. Uh, okay. He loses his stun. Damn. All right, bit of a dangerous move. But I need, I, I'm gonna try and route him. Start moving around with him. Not, no dice, no dice. Any health damage might route him. Hell, any casualties might route him. Yeah, there we go. All right. Good, good. Just put an arrow into him. Yes. Almost there. Hmm. All right, well. That's good. Still going for that conscript. That's right, alright. Oh, his armor's gone, alright. Ah, so you can injure orc warriors. It just takes a lot of effort. Or maybe they have to have low HP for it to work. I'm not quite sure. All I know is it's always been very hard to pull that off. Uh, not worried about you. Oh, last arrow. Damn. Well, I guess I get another another killing blow. All right, that wasn't too bad, and Malta even got a level. Uh, just some random orc equipment. Let's take care of that level real quick. It's coming along very, very nicely. More health, of course, so he doesn't get instantly slain by something. Uh, and I think we're gonna take Bow Mastery. It's gonna build up less fatigue, and I have an I get an additional range from it, which is pretty good. All right. And then the game plan is I can get Overwhelm on him. Oh, I lose rice. Because I was not eating it. Uh, but yeah, no, if I get Overwhelm on him, like any, any targets that I simply just shoot at... Uh, even if they move into combat, you know, they're going to be taking that, uh, that penalty. Not bad for a really large target. It's also, the, the bow is also really good for, like, you know, getting, uh, killing, like, large amounts of really weak opponents, so. How far are we? Uh, we're getting there. Ooh, wow, eight hyenas. 
What the hell are they doing all the way up here? Oh, <laughs> I thought we were going to have a good fight. Bandits. They, they're running away. Come on. There's 12 of you. Look, that is exactly what I need for my quest. Ah, uh, but they're all thugs. Can I go kill them? No, it's not going to let me do that. Oh, well, that's sad. I was actually really looking forward to that. I'm like, man, I can fulfill my ambition, like, right now. But no. Nope. All right. Sweet paycheck. Cheap supplies, maybe? That's a three-star mission. What do you got for me? Green skins. All right. Well, it's not quite what I said I was going to do, but green skins. Over 3k. That is pretty good. Uh, and they got really cheap tools. Not a lot of them by any means, but they have them. Buy some more food. And we have a falcon now, so that means I can spot wherever they are on the map, which is pretty useful. Sell all of this orc equipment because I don't need any of it. Uh, yep, that looks pretty good. I'll buy some more roots. That fish is about to go bad. It kind of stinks. I would have thought I'd be eating this food faster. Deter? Deserter. Another deserter. Alright, uh, now where was I going? Grunforst. Or Grunforst. Uh, now who am I? I think I'll give it to Malte. Let's see, where's that falcon at? There you are. Seems fairly fitting for the archer. He's not the slowest in the group after all, so. Mine as well. Yeah, no, it, it, the falcon should be really useful, because at the very least it should help me get like a, a good idea on the, uh, the initial enemy composition. Uh-oh. A lot of thugs. Uh, let's wait. Good. All right. I'll, I, I'd like to fight these groups separately. Combined, they're more than I'd like to deal with. This is just a bunch of rabble, which I, <laughs> I'm really not worried about. Like, you got maybe this dude with an axe and, like, a couple of these guys with pitch, uh, with pickaxes. And the only reason that they're a threat is because they can go through my armor. But otherwise, it's just their damage is fairly insignificant. Just come at me. I'm basically just going to use my, my dudes and shield wall. Uh, and then just kill as many of them as possible with my mercenaries. Alright, let's see. Who am I going to try and kill? Uh, three, six. Let's fire ah. arrow. Good. Let's wait with him. Just shield wall. Uh, fire and ignite. That only hit the first guy, but that's fine. Dog. Damn. That was a 60% chance, too. That was pretty good. Okay, uh, let's start moving them into position. He's stunned. Uh, no. Go for that stab. Nice. Alright, try and kill this guy. Uh, yeah, he's gonna die. And now here's a move I've wanted to try. S uh, reap. Hit all three of these guys, potentially. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, maybe this sword staff is a bit better than I gave it credit for. Uh, let's wait for this guy to come over, because he's going to do it. Go, dog. Cut arms in you. Good. What's his stamina look like? All right. Okay, so he that the guy I wanted to didn't show up. Where are you going? Watch out, dog. He's actually not going to move. All right. <laughs> he, 
And then they all run. Awesome. He's dead. Uh, let's see. And he's dead. He's dead. Nice. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Yeah, those guys are just like, I've had enough of this. Go down. Get him, Battle Brother. Real quick, I want to see. Okay, so Battle Brother's chances are 60. So it's the same as the uh, as the basic uh, Northern Warren Hound. It's just that I think they have more health. Uh, let's kill him. And let's get into melee with that guy. Uh, stun him? No. Nearly kill him. That's a artery. I always get the lung and the artery mixed up on that. Uh, so he's gonna die anyway, so let's just start going up there. Uh, might as well. Nice, nice. Start going up there. Eh, just a little bit of his armor. Good. They might be slaves, but they're high-level slaves. And just kill him. Yep, that damage, man. Uh, let's get the dog out of there. And stun. No. Ah, close, but no cigar. Can't quite kill him. Listen, man, you're going to die. You're surrounded. Nope. Uh, maybe? Yeah, alright. Alright, Wigmar and uh, Abderi leveled up. Good, good. Got a little bit of cash out of it. And now I feel a bit more confident about taking on these uh, brigands. Uh, it's a cut it's raiders and then poachers and so Before I actually do that I gotta level up uh, So what I'm guessing is probably like two poachers and then five raiders and honestly, that's Yeah, that's that's not gonna be enough It's not gonna be enough to stop me Just get a couple points there. Uh, let's see. What do I want to give Wigmar? So he's already got his mace specialization What's that coming? Yeah. Hmm. I'm actually negating 13% of all damage. It might be worth getting recover on him, too. Might be. Eh, we'll actually get Brawny. That saves him some stamina and saves him some initiative. And then Abdari. Let's see what you got. Okay, so he didn't roll very well for that. Good range defense, though. Health and fatigue. So let's see here. What will I give you? Sword Lance. Hmm. Yeah, we're just. I think we're just gonna give him polearm mastery. Just keep him in the back, cause e even if we get him polearm mastery, any polearms, like any polearms from the future, like we don't have to necessarily keep the sword lance. Uh, but I do like the idea of having a. Uh, a person that can stand at the back or in like attack from uh from behind and if i get this it means that he won't take a penalty from attacking people right next to him so yeah we're gonna get pull arm mastery then next we might get crippling strikes uh maybe executioner but we could also just do reach advantage uh Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to think about it. It's a real interesting idea. Maybe even footwork, because uh, I don't know if I want this guy to to rotate. Because honestly, it's it's fairly riskier having him do that. Uh, but having footwork means that if he gets engaged, like you know how the orcs barrel through your lines or something, uh, it means that he could disengage safely uh, without me having to immediately put somebody in there. So I'd like to kill these guys before I get into fight with those orcs. Who knows, maybe we'll get another level or something, and every level helps.
All right, good. They're going to come to me. These, just my one archer outclasses both of these guys. Like, I, I don't have much faith in them surviving for very long. Yeah. So, 39% chance. Ah, oh, there's... Okay. Those two are going to hang out back there. I'm fine with that. Let's uh, kill the the first of them. Oh! All right. He's going to die. Uh, Do I finish him or... Let's just start targeting the others. Uh, I'll wait. Start moving them around. Let's fire it off and ignite. Now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do with these guys, uh, the ones that are using these spears, is I think I'm going to trade them out for war hammers. Uh, it's going to be a little bit expensive to do, but I honestly need uh, more anti-armor from my, uh, my slaves, because all of the gladiators, they can deal fairly well. Uh, not so much tack, because he's supposed to be like a tank. Uh, but, like, I can essentially just cut through it, and then uh, Tick's whole thing is just ignoring it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think the slaves definitely need some way to just remove it. And honestly, that seems like the, uh, the best way to do it for me. Is just, uh, give them some war hammers so they can do that. So, I'm gonna take a risk. Yep. Good stuff. Let's come over here and start killing these guys. Uh, they didn't attack. Alright. He didn't route. Now, I, can I hit both of them? I can hit all three of them. Yes. Let us do that. And I did hit all three of them. I very much so am actually coming to like this sword lance. And I should be able to attack three times in, uh, in one or two times in one turn. You little dick. All right, let's get into combat with this guy. Let's do some damage uh, and unleash the target. Get them, Battle Brother. Kick their ass. I'm not worried about these guys right now. Like, they're they're not that concerning to me. Let's get over here and unleash another target. Nice, nice. Let none of them get away. Let's see if we can stun this guy. No. Oh, well. It's fine. Start moving him off to the side so he can help out over there. Yeah, and you're all bleeding. Not not too good, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see what I can pull off. Ooh, hello. Okay, I have to aim at the middle to hit the ones I want to. Wait a sec, what? Why did I hit myself? I'm not sure quite how it works. Just stab him. Stab him. Come on. All right. Make it difficult then. It's it's really not going to save you. Like everybody's having a bad day right now. Oh, come on. This guy's giving me more trouble than I'd like. Let's see if we can kill this archer. Not battle, brother, no! I won't go down. I'd like it if I could avoid losing battle, brother. It's just this guy left. You can't help me. Bring him down. Oh, wait, hold on. I have the solution. Get out of there, pooch. Eat it. Oh, well, more. All right. A little bit 
riskier for my dog, but I leveled up and Tarek leveled up. All right. Uh, I can only take so much because I've actually run out of inventory space. So, we'll start dumping the things of not as much value. All right. Good stuff. Yeah, we did end up getting a couple of those levels like I was hoping. Uh, let's see. Range defense is good. Extra fatigue is always good. And some extra attack. Let's see. What to give you? That is the question. Uh, crippling strikes. If I'm getting him a Warhammer, then uh, his base attacks actually pierce through armor, so... It will be fairly useful. Man, look at that. I think this is going to be the first... I think I'm going to be the first guy to ever have like a hundred attack. Which is pretty cool. Um, what will we get you otherwise? Hmm. Good question. Could just do fearsome. Because I can't, I can't use Duelist on him, uh, since it's uh, it doesn't work with two-handed weapons. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I could always do nine lives. Hmm. It's a tough decision. You know, you could always be unlucky. I, I'm kind of fond of Berserk, but the only problem with Berserk is that, uh, like, two attacks and I get most of my stamina. I feel like if I'm starting to make three attacks a turn, then, you know, it's... I'm really burning through it. Killing Frenzy isn't bad. Just extra damage every time I score a kill. It's like a tough choice. It's like a tie between nine lives, fearsome, and killing Frenzy. I think I'm honestly going to take nine lives. Because, uh, being saved from, like, one just death shot sounds pretty useful to me. But, yeah, let's hope we can sell some of this gear over here. Uh, I have to wait till morning. Hopefully I can do that without getting attacked. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the orcs right over there. That's my guess, anyways. So, let us... Get that sorted, get some more rice real quick, and start selling all this gear I'm never going to use. I sure got a lot from them. Okay, okay, okay. Don't need this southerner armor. Keep the, the mail, though. Hmm. I'm probably going to sell these, but I'm going to wait till I find a, a bigger town. Because I don't know if I'm ever going to run into a situation where I need these. Everything's so expensive here. Taxidermist real quick. Because I could just make fire pots. It's tempting. Very tempting. Alright. Well. Don't know if it's going to happen. So, those are definitely orc tracks. Oh, okay. Lots of young orcs. I can deal with that. I, I should be able to deal with that fairly easily. Yeah. No berserkers, no nothing. Just a lot of medium or weaker tier enemies. They outnumber me a little bit, but I'll be able to change that pretty quickly. As long as I don't get too cocky and start doing crazy stuff... We should be all right. Let's see. Start flinging some arrows. All right, let's start moving up to meet them. Start shield walling. 
Main objective right here is to keep these guys contained. I need to break the center of their line. And the best way to do that is to go in there with my gladiators. All right. Oh, the stun didn't work. That's a hand injury right there. That's good. And that's why we shield wall. All right, you get up here. I need you to start attacking three people. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. Keep that. Keep it in attack spare. Damn. Okay. Good. He resisted it. Good. He resisted it. Again, I just need to just survive until my gladiators can start doing the work. That's all that really matters. Damn, I thought I could kill that guy. Alright. Shield wall and just start conserving stamina. Let's see if I can slay all three of them. No, but I killed the one and injured another. Okay, that shield wall did not protect me. Uh, good. I'll leave. I'll start moving away from this flank. Just keep doing that shield wall. I'm gonna leave uh, uh, Abdari to uh, assist over there. No. Alright, go for a stun, please. Good. Damn. Good, good. And we'll start heading over here with... No, we won't. Okay. He doesn't have the action points to do that. Hmm. We'll just wait there. Alright, uh, let's start taking these orcs out. Yep, just keep defending, boys. Reinforcements are here. Can I get three kills with on the orcs? Man, that that's uh, that sword pull, right? Is that what it's called? Sword pull, sword lance, sword lance. That sword lance is pretty damn useful. Uh, let's go for just basic attack. 62, 78. One kill should be able to help rout. It did not. Uh, kill him. Start moving up there to help out. Deploy the falcon. Yep, just hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Uh, and then shield wall. It's a pierced chest. I think that's stamina. Alright, just uh, hit him. Yeah, that's a brute's leg. Okay, so he's exhausted. Uh, the others, they're doing alright for stamina. Let's even stun him. No. Alright. Go for it. Just a whole plethora of injuries. Good thing I got my attacks on already. Well, he's certainly going to die now. Alright, go for that hit, boy. Eh, not perfect, but it certainly works. Alright, go for a stun. Good, good. Very, very good. Damn, I don't even know if that guy's gonna be able to run away. He's like got so many injuries at this point. Uh, I, I'm not gonna bother with the dog right now. Not until some of them seem like they're gonna get away. That 
it's a fractured hand. That's a stun. Good. What? How the heck did you pull that off? Uh, do I want to deploy? Nah, I won't, I won't risk the dog's life. Yep, that's the two orcs down there are dead. Let's see if I can peg this guy. Man, he's still going. What's his stamina like? He's doing fine. Bring him down. Alright, he's running now. That's good. I can finally put the dog out without worrying. Alright, get him, pooch. Of course, you had to hit him in the head. Um, yeah, we'll try and kill this guy. And obviously, we're gonna run them down, because why would we not? He's not doing so hot. Can I reach him? No. Okay. Nope. Can't do much with these guys, because they're not in the right spots for this. Well, he's certainly not getting out of here alive. That's for sure. And we got a couple level ups out of three, actually. And a bunch of random orc gear that we can sell. But, most importantly, we're going to be earning 3,000 crowns. And let me tell you something. That is certainly worth it. Against 12 orc young? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is definitely worth it. So real quick, let's get these level ups out of the way. Go defensive a little bit, a little bit more range defense. Uh, let's see. Well, he's got, he's a mace guy, so we'll give him a uh, mace mastery. Like I said, the uh, the dudes with spears, I'm probably gonna give war hammers just so I can give a little bit of my uh, my line uh, some extra armor piercing capabilities. Uh, let's see, melee defense. So uh, right, uh, and we're gonna give him shield expert. Get a good bonus. Okay. Extra melee defense. I know it was less than the range defense, but honestly, I wanted it more. And battle forged. So we take only nine. Right. These are a bit. These are a bit lower than I was thinking they would be. Does that look like now? It's eight, but that's just because it's like only half durability right now. Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> at some point, we need to start buying heavier gear, but it just comes down to uh to our budget. And right now, I'm like, Ugh, there's there's other places I could spend this money. Uh, bandits. Uh, well, we'll hold off on fighting them. I, don't, I couldn't even collect a lot of the loot anyways, so be a little bit of a waste of money. But yeah, 3k for that. That's good. <laughs> well, so much for going up north this episode, right? In my defense, it was quite a bit of cash. Uh, dogs. I really want, want any dogs. Not even those ones anyways, at least. Um... I guess we could just sell the orc gear here. Not gonna get too beat up over the price. Even if I'm not getting, like, you know, the maximum amount of, out of it or anything. I'll somehow live, I'm sure. Alright. Hmm. Nothing really I need. You know what? Now that I've got this money, real quickly, let's have a look at the retinues. Or at our retinue. Anything interesting? Surgeon. Let's see. That looks pretty good. What does this do? Hmm. The scout isn't bad. The scavenger isn't bad either. But honestly, the surgeon, I mean, 
Every man without a permanent injury is guaranteed to survive an otherwise fatal blow. And then all my injuries that I do get take one less day to uh, heal. <sighs> I kind of want to take that one. I'm not going to lie. That seems pretty damn useful to me. Also, I've never gotten one before. So, you, and you know what? Like, literally just guaranteeing that everybody that I have in my party right now essentially has like at least one extra life. That's pretty useful to me. Like, even if they have, you know, disability at the end, depending on what it is, it might not be that bad. So, yeah, we'll, we'll hire the surgeon. And I finally have this achievement. Uh, the next upgrade we'll probably end up getting, you know, is the donkey. Just because it's extra inventory space. We've been kind of fighting that whole 90 cap for a while now. Where is it? Yeah, we've been fighting that 90 cap for a little while now. It's kind of putting a, a strain on me, to be frank. But we've made we've made do so far. I keep a lot of this gear just because extra equipment. Uh, if I get a new person or something, or if I want to, if I have to swap around, like specifically, like if I'm fighting undead or something, I don't. I know I don't necessarily do it, but we haven't really fought that many undead to begin with. Uh, but like, you wouldn't want to use a spear. You'd want to use a mace because blunt damage is more efficient. Uh, or, you know, if you're going to do, like, a fight against hordes, you might want to have, like, a, uh, spears, because a spear wall is fairly efficient at keeping an enemy away. Uh, then, of course, extra shields, because shields can break easy, it's just that I haven't run into a lot of people who have been doing it. Uh, and then uh, extra armor for, you know, we recruit a new brother, at the very least I have some spare gear to give them. But yeah, anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm gonna end this episode. Um... Not too much actually ended up happening. We took a caravan all the way over here to Wormwatch. Uh, we took a big, sizable quest, which, you know, honestly, we just ended up going to back to where we started before the quest, but that's fine. Uh, we took out some raiders on the way, fought a fairly decent-sized battle against some orcs, and, yeah, that was all that happened. So, not that bad of an episode, just we didn't fulfill our objective of going up north but i will try to do that next episode it's just that well that was a sizable amount of cash so uh but yeah if you guys enjoyed the episode you know leave a comment down uh, below or something let me know what you guys think any good character designs i've already shilled this enough times so i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm gonna say anyways and until next time have a good one